tale I am about to tell concerns certain creatures that were used as runic weapons. These beings were not of our world, but their bodies were replete with the rune magic that built it. It is for this reason that they came, at the hand of mankind, to be used as weapons. The horrible power of these weapons struck terror throughout the land. But finally, some rose up to strike down this evil. My tale begins some seven years before the island nations and the Kuluk Empire went to war, with a minor incident in the back alley of a harbor town. I like this place better in the daytime. You scared? No way. Don't be silly. Well, let's get this furball patrol started. I want to try out this new sword father gave me. Couldn't we do this tomorrow? No. I want to try it out right away. Okay. Come on, let's go. Don't worry. We can take care of those furballs and be back in no time. All right. But let's not stay out too late. Furballs are tougher than I thought. A lot tougher. But as long as I have this sword, we can cut our way through. What? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You look more tired than I do. Let's call it a night. Ugh. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck was that? What should we do? Follow it? Or maybe we should... This way! <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, you're human. You sure gave me a shock. Human? Um, never mind. My mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Snow Vingerhut. Walter's the name. We're travelers. This is my son, Kirill. 
Our group means you no harm. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Andark. And I'm Seneca. Hello. Uh, is... well... Oh, she's my partner. Don't worry about her. I've got a question, Snow. Yes? Just before, you said, you're human, right? Huh? Yeah, but... Why was that surprising to you? Did you see something? Oh, that. Um, yeah, we saw it. Will you tell me exactly what you saw? Right. Um, a weird creature, about the size of a man, came rushing up this road. I see. And then it ran off that way, hmm? Yup, straight down that way. But it couldn't have gotten very far. There's a dead end up ahead. I see. Thank you for the information. Well, we're going after it. You two had better head on home. This is dangerous work. But we can help you. I know the streets here. Huh? You're up for it, right? Snow, this isn't a game. Maybe we should listen to him. Come on, don't chicken out. We'll be fine. All right, but stay close. We don't have much time. Ready? Yeah, let's go. If this thing doesn't kill us, your father will. Relax. He gave me the sword to use, right? Stick with me and you'll be fine. If something comes after you, whack it with that stick of yours. Walter and I will take care of the rest, okay? I'll try. Okay then, let's get going. Yes.
That's an interesting dual weapon technique you have there. Nicely done.
Quiet for a minute. Sorry. Who did this to you and where? On the ship. Pirate. A pirate? Which pirate? Give me a name. I need a name. Is it dead? Yes. Look at it. So thin you can see the ribs. Probably couldn't even get a scrap of food in this state. Oh. Well then. The least we can do is give it a decent burial somewhere. Things like this are best done at night. You boys really should go on home now. It's very late. Okay. Let's go. Good night. Good night. Did any of you catch the pirate's name? Nope. Me neither. Sorry. What about Jan? I see. Thank you, Jan. A little food and some water. That's all this poor creature wanted. Seems he never even knew the pirate's name. Hmm. We've been wasting our damn time. Still, it's not like anyone else has figured out the connection with the Rune Cannons. That may be true, but we can't afford to take it easy. You're right. So what's next, Walter? Go buy some food and drinks. It won't be much, but let's pay what respects we can to this poor soul. Yes, sir. Well, we've got another long journey ahead of us tomorrow. I'll go find us somewhere to stay. Let's get at least a little rest tonight. All right. <sighs> Back to square one. Now, now, don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of this sooner or later. Yes. <laughs> 